As a creator, making videos is always fun and exciting, but editing is the hardest stage for anyone. But using the power of AI, I'm going to show you guys how easy editing can finally be. Captions will forever be one of the most important part of any video, but using AI, CapCut has made creating these captions extremely simple. All we got to do is head up here to the text tab in the top left, scroll down to advanced with the auto captions right here. You're going to go ahead and select the language that you are currently speaking in and click generate. And that fast, you can already see we have all of our captions down here added to our timeline for us. Now, if you don't like the standard or default style of text you have full customization for every single bit of it we'll just head up here to the top right to the text tab and here in the basic panel you'll find everything you need to make these captions perfect for your own videos we have our options for shadowing glow we were to bring that intensity down a little bit it also comes built in with a bunch of default fonts already we'll just go ahead and use gas sock for now and once you come to the top make sure you have this applied to all selected that way any changes that you make to this font will go ahead and transition over to the rest of your videos so you don't have to sit here and keep doing this all manually. now CapCut also has full text templates built in so if you're looking to add some pop and animation without actually having to do any of the work we're gonna head up here real quick to the templates page and here you can scroll through hundreds of different options every single one of the viral captions you'll see across Across social media are all here built in this one right here has always been my go-to if we click it real quick you can see it automatically applies instantly and when we watch this footage back you'll see that this highlighted section now follows every single word I'm saying or let's say for example I'm wanting every single one of these words to pop up individually as you can see right here they already have a template built in they even have options that are blending multiple of these templates together so for example this one right here not only is it going through every single bit of one of these words individually but every time it switches there's a little animation that kind of bounces the word up and down once again just making your life as a creator 10 times easier but right, CapCut also takes it another step further to so go ahead and select your text you'll see in the top right we have more options like animation tracking and text to speed any of these effects that you're wanting to add to your text is all just a simple click away or for example we can do something extremely cool with the tracking feature select your font head up here to tracking and click motion track you're just going to want to make sure this box is surrounding whatever subject you're wanting the text to follow and you can just go ahead and move around your text to putting it wherever you might want in your video and click start and within a few seconds you can see the effect was added up here to our timeline and if we play it through it's not yet it is tracking our hand now moving on to one of the coolest features CapCut has ever added to their app we have video translation now me myself I can't speak many languages but with the power of CapCut we can open myself up to some more options we're gonna go ahead and select our clip and head up over here to audio and here you'll find the option for video translator we're gonna go ahead and select that box you're gonna go ahead and select your native language and the language that you want to speak in we have a few options but for this we'll go ahead and use Spanish now it's gonna go ahead and run through your entire video processing it inspecting it and and fully changing the language on top of that it'll use its AI to help lip sync the new language with your mouth to give it that natural look todavía no estoy seguro de cómo quiero terminar decora algunos de esta habitación las paredes todavía están vacías pero lentamente pero seguramente se están juntando I am now fully speaking Spanish and you can see my face might look a little bit different because the AI is trying to adjust my lips to fit but this looks extremely natural and would come out a whole lot better than if I actually tried speaking it myself keep in mind features like this are also available from the mobile app so you are able to do things like this anywhere at any time okay now jumping over to one of the features I've needed most throughout my years of content we have AI background removal now normally when doing these kinds of shots I have to use a green screen so that I can cut myself out from the background but CapCut essentially just brings the green screen to you not literally but it can cut you out of any background that you're in now for this video specifically I'm making some content around the DJI pocket 3 one of my favorite effects for an intro clip is to have the text popping up behind me so I'm gonna need to cut myself out of the background and it is extremely easy we're gonna go ahead and trim this down because this is the section right here that I actually need now every single bit of this intro right here is gonna be filled up with some b-roll but when I cut back to myself here I'm gonna want the text popping up on my wall while also fading behind so to quickly do this I'm gonna go ahead and just delete this b-roll for now okay this is good to go so now we're gonna go ahead and get myself actually cut out from this background so we can do this text effect we're gonna go ahead and head over here to the video tab and right here you'll see remove background now there is the option for a custom removal but like I said no one wants to spend this time cutting yourself out so with the auto removal feature all you have to do is click this box it's gonna process through your video cutting yourself out and just like that I'm fully cut out from my background and we can go ahead and start doing this effect what I'm gonna go ahead and do is duplicate this bottom layer by holding alt and just dragging straight up so on the bottom layer here I'm gonna go ahead and unselect the auto removal so I can have this background back in my shot and to get this text popping up behind me I'm gonna go ahead and head up here to the text tab of course now of course with the text being above this layer it is going to appear in front of my body but if I take this layer that we cut myself out of and drag it on top of the text you'll see it's now sitting behind my body now of course per usual I'm not gonna want my text to say this plain and simple so we're gonna go ahead and head over to the templates page once again I'm gonna select this one specifically because of the highlight light and glow effect that it gives so once we go ahead and go back through this video but what makes it so worth it 
it is fully standing behind me. Now, let's just say, of course, you're wanting to actually add yourself onto another background. All you would need to do is drag in one of your background shots that you're going to want. And we're going to go ahead and remove this bottom layer right here and drag in this backdrop. Of course, this obviously isn't right. So in the basic tab, we're going to go ahead and rotate this 90 degrees and slightly enlarge it to fill up my body. And just like that, you are completely done. It's genuinely this simple. Now that we've officially gone through a bunch of my favorite features featuring CapCut's AI, I'm going to show you guys how I edit every single bit of my own personal content using CapCut PC. I also have a bunch of tips and tricks to share with you guys that I personally use that'll also save you guys hours of time when editing your own content. Okay, hopping back into CapCut PC, the first thing I'm going to go ahead and do is add some folders. When you're working with a bunch of files the best thing to do is stay organized that way you're not getting lost throughout your entire edit so up here in the media tab just right click on any empty space right here and click new folder and we're going to go ahead and rename this folder to a roll because well that's where all my a roll is going <laughs> i'm going to create another folder for all of my b roll and finally a third folder for all of my sound effects now one thing i would highly recommend is getting used to keyboard shortcuts specifically the shortcuts for splitting deleting left and deleting right now i've also customized my own to make it easier for me if you want to do that for yourself you can just head up here to the top right in the shortcuts tab here you'll find every single shortcut CapCut already has added and if you want to you have the option to customize them for yourself now of course the only thing we're actually needing is this little section right here so we're going to go ahead and fully delete the left side of this clip by clicking Q on my personal keyboard same thing with the other side if I drag my cursor down here to the end of the clip and on my keyboard I'll click W it goes ahead and isolates everything for you and once again per usual this clip is way longer than I actually need it to be you can go ahead and shorten your clip directly from your media pool so that when you drag it down here you don't have all that extra extra footage but once again I have a little bit extra here at the very end and I'm not gonna need any of this footage so I'll go ahead and delete right and we're good to go now as we slowly start building this timeline we're gonna have to start zooming in and zooming out a lot so once again the keyboard shortcuts are gonna be your best friend I have my zoom out set to shift s and my zoom in set to shift w this just makes it easy for you to organize your timeline without having to constantly move your cursor over here to zoom in and out manually now of course like anybody when I'm recording videos I stutter a lot and having to go through this footage and figure out which lines are correct versus which ones aren't takes forever and it's way too time consuming so in editing any footage where I have a bunch of these spacings and I know I'm saying lines multiple times I like to do something called transcript based editing if you head right here you'll find this little button that says transcript and once you click it it's gonna process through your entire video and give you your transcript and now that it's pulled up here you can see I stuttered a lot during this recording section but to speed up this editing process with transcript based editing so if I drag my cursor along any of these moments where I had a pause or I've said my line multiple times you can see down here on the timeline it's gonna go ahead and highlight that section of the video for us and if we click delete it'll delete all of that footage it also goes ahead and highlights any moment where you don't talk and there's a weird pause so again instead of having to go through and manually cut out all of those little sections you can just highlight that section where you didn't talk click delete and it's going to edit it for you okay now that I've gone through and edited every single bit of my a roll we finally have a real cohesive video going but before I move on to effects and b-roll there is always one extra little thing I do to every single one of my videos to get them to flow just a little bit better even though these clips are perfectly edited together right here I want this video to flow like it's one whole sentence we're gonna go ahead and zoom out on our timeline and select every single one of these clips we're gonna right click and click extract audio and all I'm doing is taking these clips and slightly overlapping it with the clip before it so that way when we actually play it back my bedroom the only issue is it blends just a little bit better and it kind of makes the video feel like it's one whole cohesive sentence instead of a bunch of cuts now I'm gonna go ahead and move on to my b-roll again when recording all this b-roll I don't need all of this footage so we're just gonna go through here to the left side slightly trim it down and bring it onto our timeline now in filming all b-roll of course you're usually doing it by hand so when you're watching your clips back every once in a while they're gonna be shaky and moving around a little bit to quickly fix any of the shaking we're just gonna head up here to the video tab and click on this little button called stabilize well, it's gonna go ahead and fully process through and then once you watch your clip back you have a completely steady shot now that I've gone through the entire video and added in all my b-roll we're gonna start making this all blend together right here we have our first little section where we're jumping from a roll and me talking to the camera over to some of our b-roll clips so we're gonna go ahead and head up here to transitions and one of my absolute favorites is actually right here it's film erase we're just gonna go ahead and take it of course drag it onto our timeline now this lasts just a little bit too long so we're gonna head up here to the duration of this and slightly turn it down as much as we can i built a cozy that is a lot better the main transitions that y'all are seeing me use throughout all of my videos are lens flares for example my most used is probably this one right here called glare once again we're going to come up here and shorten this down as much as I can pretty much this lounge area it's just a really quick little flash of light that'll transition to your next one I just like that film aesthetic so it's kind of just what I go for now of course if you wanted to you could always import and add in your own transitions which I will show you how to do really quick so real quick we're going to go ahead and isolate this one specific transition that I use 
pretty consistently and we're just going to go ahead and drag that onto our timeline now, of course this doesn't fit the screen so we're going to need to rotate this about 90 degrees and slightly enlarge this whole thing so that it fills up our screen of course this transition is now obviously blocking our actual footage so to real quick blend this in we're just going to click down on blend go to mode and we're going to set this to screen this is just going to blend the transition with your actual video so whenever you watch it back for the first time you're done but another big thing i wanted to show you guys is how you can create smooth zoom in effects that you see in all popular creators videos on the timeline we're going to go ahead and come down where we want our zoom to start head over here to scale and we're going to click this button right here to add a keyframe then just go forward a little bit to where you want your zoom to end and we're going to slightly create that zoom and then add our another keyframe now this of course will add this zoom effect for us but we want to make it that buttery crisp move that just kind of hits that dopamine receptor so what we're going to do is right click on our keyframe click on show variable speed animations and right here you'll see a little button says free curve we're going to click that and that'll create this little curve with our keyframe now i like to take this little dot and drag it as far as left as I physically can while still keeping it straight. What this essentially does is speed up the beginning of our zoom and then slowly ease into it, creating kind of a more natural look which looks so crisp. And of course, the most important part for any video you're gonna make is gonna be your audio design. Things I would recommend are things like whooshes, risers. I'm a really big fan of the little camera ticking effects, especially during these little transitions right here, a sound effect kind of like this just fits in perfectly and it sounds so crisp and this is exactly how i've edited every single one of my videos over the last two years which has gained me millions of views now using all the tips tricks and effects that i've shown you in this video editing will never be so simple for you there really is no point in spending a bunch of money from multiple softwares when CapCut has it all built into one pc which of course allows all of us as creators to spend less time editing and more time creating thank you so much again to CapCut for sponsoring this video the link to try out cap cut will be down below in the description along with all my other social if you want to stay updated with what I'm doing. I love you guys so, so, so much. There is more videos to come, I promise. And like always, see you guys in the next one.